And it was David Lynch's Dune. No, <laughs> it was not that one. <laughs> what was that like, by the way? Boy, talk about the Big that Top Circus. That was really cool. That was the Big Top Circus. It was my first job out in Hollywood. Right. I'd done a couple of things in Chicago. And then uh, Helena Bonham Carter was going to do that role. But she was doing Room with a View. Oh, can you imagine? And it overlapped by about three days, and they wouldn't let her out. Wow. And so there was this mad scramble to cast someone as the princess of the universe. Right. So I get this audition. And I thought, well, it's going to, it's, all they said was it was the princess of the universe, and I hadn't read that book. It's a little vague. And so I wore. I mean, you could make the argument oh, that George man. Michael is the princess <laughs> of the universe. I know. You could. Fair you enough. You could. And I wore, he might have, he would have loved my outfit, actually, George. I had um, my hair, like, pulled back in two little pearl barrettes. Uh-huh. And then I had a white mini dress that kind of flared out. Because this was the 80s, okay? Sure, let's be clear. And then I had white lace tights on. Oh, my. And then I had little, like, white flats. So I didn't do a ZZ Top gal, unfortunately. But, and, and I had... Uh, some kind of sparkly thing on my wrist. This was my idea of well, what I princess don't know. Princess of the, the universe. Thinking, it's not. It's sort of Princess Leia, but I don't know. Yeah. And I. They didn't give you anything to read. They gave me something to read, but it was something from Shakespeare. That's all I remember. It nothing was some from the kind of nothing from the script because no one was allowed to read it. And they took a Polaroid of me, and I, apparently uh, David Lynch saw that Polaroid and picked me. Right. And the record does suggest that you were yeah. selected by a poet. And I I think he said I had a classic look <laughs> in my white <laughs> dress. <laughs> but anyway, I got the part and the great thing about that part was it was essentially my big break. Yes. Really all I had to do was that monologue and I was really a glorified extra. But it was a three-picture deal. It was... Because they tied you up for the sequels? Or? Yeah. It, it, they, were, they, they thought they were going to make Star Wars for right. grown-ups. of course. And it didn't work out that way. Uh, and, but I got to be in these great scenes. I didn't have too much to do, which is good for a beginner. Mm -hmm. And... But how big and elaborate. And it was, it was, you know, Sting was running around with just, you know, this gold jock strap and As nothing As he does every on night and, in my dreams. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was just kind of like, hi. 